time to tempt your sweet tooth. Irene Long from Irene's Old Fashioned Cakes is here with a recipe for its harvest time cake with maple buttercream icing. A long name here, but it looks good. And you say this is a recipe you came up with. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Fall is my favorite time of the year. And um, so I wanted to make a cake that that uh, represented all the good, uh, some of the good fruits and vegetables that we enjoy during the fall season. All right, so go ahead and get us started on this cake. We're gonna start with the dry ingredients, but we don't have to separate them. Right, this is, cake is kind of different. You start off with the uh, dry ingredients. You add your flour, sugar, and I put baking powder, soda, and my spices all together there. And that is a uh, cinnamon, uh, pumpkin pie mm -hmm. spice and all spice okay and you mix that together and um, so you put all your dry ingredients uh, in the mixer and then you put your eggs and oil and you start with your vegetables your um, carrots and you chop a apple and you put pineapple and uh, lastly you put uh, nuts you can use pecans or walnuts okay and uh, then you put your flavoring, which I put uh, almond and vanilla. All right. So we've got <coughs> carrots in here, but this really isn't a, is it not a carrot cake it's or is not it a, a, carrot on a carrot cake? cake? It's not a carrot cake because you know you just want those uh, some vegetables and fruits from the harvest. Uh -huh. So you put your apples and and also, also your pumpkin. Okay. You also have pumpkin. We left out the pumpkin. So now I'm assuming too with the the, the pumpkin and with the, uh, the the pineapples and the apples there, th that should make it a pretty moist cake. It, it's very moist. Yes, uh -huh. so you put your oil, you put uh, one and two thirds cups of oil, and that makes it really moist. As mm -hmm. you start with your dry ingredients, and then you start adding these, and it comes out very moist. Okay, all mm -hmm. right, good. So we get this all together, mm -hmm. and then how long are we going to cook this? We're going to cook it for 30 to 35 minutes in a three. Uh, 45 oven. So this is a uh, uh, one that was baked without mm -hmm. the icing on it. So you can see all the good nuts and, yeah. and uh, everything right in there. But we're going to cover that up with some good old icing. Yeah, we could do that. You could do that. All righty. All right. So, so as I start this, icing. tell me what's in this buttercream icing. Oh, that's some thick icing. Okay. It's very easy stuff. to make. You uh -huh. have confectioner's sugar. Okay. Um, first of all, you have real pure maple syrup. You put it in your uh, mixer with your butter, uh -huh. and you whip that. Okay. You whip that all together smooth. Then you add your confectioner's sugar and your milk by the tablespoons, okay, like three super. to four tablespoons, till you get it. You know the way uh, that you you know your consistency. Okay. About three to four. Uh, tablespoons to a two pound bag of confectioner's awesome. sugar. So as I continue to do this, tell me about this hot chocolate. Now, cooler weather is on the way, so quickly yes, tell me is. about that hot chocolate okay. you got going over so there. So this is something I would like to serve with this cake I thought would be nice. This is a southern, peca southern butter pecan, hot, a white hot chocolate made in the crock pot. And uh, it's just three ingredients. You okay. have uh, white uh, uh, chocolate, and you have uh, milk, and you have creamer. And how, would, how long delights. will you let it cook for how long? You put or? the milk and the white chocolate in for on low for two to three hours. All right, and, and you'll get that, some good stuff yeah. there to go with this cake. Look right. at that cake right there. Oh, that's some good stuff. That, that just says fall right there, doesn't it? Recipes for this cake and the hot chocolate are on our website at newschannel5.com. Irene's homemade goods can be found at Prince's Hot Chicken over in <laughs> North Nashville. You can order it from them over there as well. Right now, let's head back over to Merrill.